Well, hello everybody, Smith here, and welcome back for another Animal Showcase. We've got a new one for you today, guys, uh, with lots of little critters and creatures. Here's one behind us here, just sitting there, sitting, sitting in the sun. So this is Sonorama. Uh, it is a mod for Minecraft 1.16.5 Forge uh, Edition, uh, modded. And uh, it has animals from the Arid America, or either Saran, the Mojave, and the Chihohican, Chiho, Chihohican Deserts. Yes. So that's why we're in a desert, really, because uh, it, I literally, luckily, as you can see, I've been having a look around spawn next to this desert. So there are loads of mammals, birds, reptiles, fish, and some other creatures. So uh, this is done by uh this is done by cooper and we recently reviewed cooper's uh critters which is a fantastic uh fantastic uh, little uh mod uh and uh cooper's updated this one so i'm very happy and uh, i've never showcased this before so a lot of the stuff is all new i had a look around to see how the animals naturally spawned and they do spawn like you might be able to see there's a little lizard over there I don't know where that one's gone it may be the one there's Bats that spawn everywhere and all sorts of creatures as you go around. Also, guys, there's some plants and some blocks as well. Right, let's get into this. So uh, we have got a stack of creatures. We've got all these to show you. We've sort of got all sorts of different creatures. We've got badgers, we've got coyotes, we've got beavers. We've got loads of different types of lizards. And uh, uh, and then in this next one here, we've got some fishes uh and an odd fairy shrimp and yeah we got a couple of snakes which isn't listed in the cursed forge page so you can download this for minecraft java 1.16.5 uh you can see this this beaver dams now i we, we've got beavers but i couldn't find the dams had a look around there's mud bricks which you can make into stairs slabs and uh, fences like uh, rocky sandstone rocky sand and then you've got some mud. You'll find the mud, wet clay and mud, uh, in the rivers. Actually, you'll find them quite easily as you go around. They're quite, they're quite everywhere. So I'll get the animals ready, guys, and we'll uh, start showcasing them. One of the first things you notice, guys, that the fish spawn naturally. So you will already have these underwater. You'll see them spawning here. We'll show you. Oh, there's the shrimp. <laughs> Yeah, they all spawn naturally quite easily and all the animals spawn in different locations like these little uh, desert colored lizards here. And as you go around your world, they will spawn. It's the odd one like that. But uh, yeah, and and you have to go and find them basically. So they do make the world a lot better. So let's start with a, a what is a white nose Cotamundi? What is that? What is that, guys? Oh, Right. Okay. I've never seen one of those before. Uh, I've not. I've, when I've been looking around, I haven't been able to find them. Uh, they've all got sounds. They've been updated recently in the latest update. Hence why I'm now showcasing this. They are cute. I wonder if they climb. They got those little tails. There they go. They seem to just potter about. Uh, bobcats. I wonder if they eat. I wonder. There we go. There's a bobcat. And you hear it purring. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, they hiss. Oh, they once attack, they have a go at the bobcats as well. Oh, kill the bobcat. Wow. Wow. I do like the bobcats. Here's these bats. We'll come to them in a minute at the end. Well, that is quite cute, isn't it? <laughs> oh, right. A prog horn. Desert Proghorn. I have never heard of this in my life. Oh, now I've seen these spawn, uh, not in the desert, in the green areas across the way. So they are desert, but they also spawn in the green areas. And they usually spawn together. There was quite a few that spawned together. Oh! Oh, I didn't see that. Of course, there's one with antlers, male and female. Are they all with all with antlers? No, they're not. Look, male and female. Oh, that is cute, isn't it? Male and female. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Male and female. Right. American Badgers. Now, some of these do have rights. I think the American Badger is just a badger. Oh, it makes a badger noise. <laughs> Again, they're quite cute. Right, Mexico oh, opossums. Now we've got quite a lot of opossums, guys. So we'll bring them all out. So we've got this is the Mexican Virginia opossum. So we'll put that there. This is a Virginia, a Texas Virginian possum. That's that one. We've got a Virginia opossum. <laughs> uh, we have a four-eyed opossum. Oh, they're coming out in different colours. Ah, because this is like the generic variety. So these are called regular varieties. Oh, they go for the lizards as well. They are very nice. Right, so uh, coyotes. We've got a few coyotes. We'll bring this one in here. Let's start with this one, see what a coyote looks like. It's like a fox. Is there two different colours there? Oh, yes, there are different colours, like a red one and a, a not so red one. They just bring the world alive. Right, so there are some more. So this is the Texas coyote. We'll bring them close together so they look different. Yes, they're definitely different shades of coyote. This is the Durango, more like a wolf colour to me. Uh, and this is the Martyr, Pedro Martyr. Oh, that's beautiful. Like a really proper red one. Yeah, we like that one. And Moon's Coyote. Right, a jaguaran. What is a jaguarandi? I don't know what this is, guys. Let's have a look. Oh, it's like a cat. A jaguarandi. Oh, and they come in different colours as well. Two colours, I think. Oh, no, three colours. Is it three colours? Maybe two colours. Wow. Okay, next up, guys, we have a ring tail. A ring tail. Oh, yes. So cute. <laughs> they are very pretty. It's like, to, are they all the same? I don't know, you know. Maybe they are. Right, a yellow bellied marmot. Oh. Oh. Hey, are cuties. Right, American beaver. American beavers. Oh, I haven't seen it. No, I haven't seen any of these in the wild. But they are cute, to say the least. And a giant kangaroo, although I don't think you mean it. it's a desert kangaroo. It's a giant desert kangaroo. <laughs> right guys so moving on to the flying creatures we have got an ele elegant trogon let's have a look that is a very elegant little creature as well yeah that is very elegant to say the least seen one fly yet but we probably will let's just leave them there right and the other creature is a quats quatzal very cute as well right lizards lizards guys we'll try and put a lot there's a lots of different types of lizards here so we will go eastern this is the eastern collard lizard Oh, they come in different colours. Two colours, in fact. 
this is a desert colored lizard oh this is the one that we had at the at the uh the, f the first bit a gila monster oh yeah and now we're on to the other types of lizards. This is a white sands fence lizard. We have a western fence lizard. We have a spiny lizard. And we have a spiny desert spiny lizard. We have a Nobel spiny lizard. That's very cute. I like the colours on that. A blue spotted spiny lizard. A spiny lizard spawn egg. Now this, I oh yeah, this might just spawn. This is the egg which spawns them all in. That's what that egg does. I thought it did. There are some uh, generic eggs as well as the separate eggs. <laughs> they are cute. A prairie friend, a fence lizard. And a spiny-tailed iguana. Oh, I want to see this. Let's have a look at this. <gasps> yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> right, so we're over by the water, guys. Uh, desert putfish. I'm not so don't know what a putfish is, but we'll find out now. Oh, little... Oh, they're different colours. Blue and... Blue and grey. And we have a Death Valley putfish. I never knew Death Valley had fish like this. Oh, slightly different on that. And then we've got a whole devil hole putfish. So they're all separate as well. Right. Uh, this is the Gila Chup, which I haven't found in the wilds, but they obviously are. I've probably just haven't spotted them. And last but not least, the alligator gar, which we uh, we did show earlier on. Are they all the same? The alligator gars. Oh no, there's a. Oh no, it's not. That wasn't a red one. It's just dying. I was thinking it was a red one. Right. Okay. So, uh, oh shrimp. We got a shrimp, guys. These were quite cute, weren't they? Yeah, they were quite cute, and they do spawn quite regularly. Very good. And a triops. Ah, oh god, they weren't shrimps and these were triops. I get told off for that. Call them the wrong name. They're called triopses. Right, okay. Now these aren't listed in the list of creatures uh, on the Curse Forge page, but there are two snakes, which is probably the Western Hognose Snake. Yeah, they seem to be all the same. And the Vine Snake. <laughs> And there is one more creature, guys. It is the Mexican free-tailed bat. Again, this isn't put in the thing, but as you've noticed, flying around, the bats are everywhere. So we'll see if we can just bring these in. Yes. And you will see these flying around everywhere. Oh, I like that, the way they're flying. So there we go. Right, so uh, I like this. It's, it's sort of, if you think about it, deserts are usually really barren. Uh, and the fact is that now there is a mod which sort of puts creatures, just ambient creatures, into your desert is a really good thing. Because uh, a lot of people do like building in deserts. And it's nice to see the creatures. So if you like this mod, go and check out the links in the description. I would highly recommend... You also go and have a look at Cooper's Critters if you haven't seen that video because those creatures have got lots, lots of different creatures again, but they have also got, they've got special abilities and stuff, which is really cool. So yeah, go and check it out. Thank you very much for Cooper for giving me a heads up for your mods. There is one of a Blocks mod as well, uh, which you should check out from Cooper. But yeah, all the information's in the description. It's a nice little 1.16.5 mod to enhance your Minecraft world. What I would love to know is where do I find uh, the beaver dams because I did have a good look around for the beaver dams. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks very much for watching guys and we'll see you again soon for another. Bye bye.